Welcome back to Be The Bank. This is our premier NFL edition. Just finished up with the college one, which we've done a couple times now. I spent a lot of time until it's Friday night. Tomorrow's Saturday. Got the regular job. Got to go to the turf club for the secondary job. Not going to have much time on this one, so we're just going to blurt this out in one shot and give you the, the three winners plus the butter pick that is going to make sense if you saw the college. So first off, let's start. I'm going to the Eagles Redskins game on Sunday. I'm a season ticket holder. And in that game, I'm going to take the first half under on the Eagles and the Redskins. The Eagles haven't played any starters all preseason. The Redskins have a solid defense. The Eagles have a solid defense. Case Keenum stinks. There's no position players on the Redskins. I can see easily a 13-3 halftime lead. So 22 and a half is fine by me. My first lock for NFL Sunday is Eagles Redskins first half under. Second game I like is the Tennessee Titans plus five and a half against the Cleveland Browns. I'm a big fan of the Cleveland Browns. I like them. I always have in the past. I can't stand the AFC teams like Pittsburgh and New England. They always have a cakewalk. I just think too much smoke's been blown up their ass this whole offseason. So I think Tennessee comes out. They're pissed off. Everyone's talking about Cleveland. Cleveland this, Cleveland that. They got a rookie coach who doesn't know what he's doing. I think it'll be enough. Cleveland might even win at the end by the field goal. But you know what? A field goal covers. The third game I like is Indianapolis Colts getting seven points against the San Diego Chargers. I always going to call them the San Diego Chargers. They have no home field advantage. I like Jacoby Brissett. I like Frank Reich. He proved last year he's a good coach. Went to the playoffs. So I think they have no problem covering seven points. They might even outright win. I'm not going to go crazy with the money line. But I think they can cover the seven points. And now, we talked about in the college. We, had, we went from the Seinfeld bet. I, I switched it to the butter bet for Cookie. Now we're going to add in, it's the truffle butter bet. We're going to call it the truffle butter bet from now on because that's my favorite song. What's the bet out there that makes no sense? Like, why would you bet against it? The Kansas City Chiefs. Why are they only four point, three to four point favorites against the Jaguars? They should be at least six. And plus the squares love the Chiefs. Everyone remembers what they did last year. Every public is going to bet on the Chiefs. Which makes me want to go contrarian and make the truffle butter bet lock of the week the Jacksonville Jaguars. Big Dick Nick might have something to do with it too, but we're going to go Jacksonville Jaguars is the truffle butter bet of the week. I do need to find a way to get Cookie involved. I don't know exactly how to do it, but we got those four bets. Let's see how we do. And by week two, I promise you next week, Cookie will get her uh, NFL bets in. And let's go. Let's bring it home. Let's go underdogs.